Will Senate Democrats block a Republican legislation banning most late-term abortions? It is the second time they've derailed an abortion-related drive by the GOP since the release of the videos exposing Planned Parenthood this summer. Jason Calvey has more tonight. Brian, the bill would have banned most abortions after 20 weeks of pregnancy, but it didn't receive the 60 votes it needed to keep it alive. On this vote, the yeas are 54 and the nays are 42. Republican presidential candidate Lindsey Graham was the lead sponsor. We now know that babies at 20 weeks feel excruciating pain. They're provided anesthesia when they're operated on to save their lives. We're saying at that point, we should stop abortions. Every son in this body knows this bill is going nowhere. This attack is a waste of time. But Republican Senator James Lankford says the vote keeps the conversation alive. Yeah, it's remarkable for anyone to say that we're wasting time when we're talking about the life of children. Uh, this is a part of what we do. We stand up for the innocent. We stand up for those who cannot speak for themselves. I stand alone on the word of God. Micah Pickering's parents support the ban. Micah was born at 22 weeks. This is a, a true living testament of what those babies could become. You know, they could be the future president, they could be the future, you know, teacher or, and this is what we want them to see is that this is a valuable life. Several major polls show a majority of Americans support banning abortions after 20 weeks. But Brian, the Centers for Disease Control says only 1% of abortions take place that far along in the pregnancy. All right. Thank you, Jason Calvi on Capitol Hill.